Hello friends. In today's session, we're going to talk about how do we start preparing for the Aryabhatta exam for class 5. We'll talk about the systematic approach that, should, that we should take and the do's and don'ts for the preparation. So let's know uh, certain important things about the Aryabhatta exam before we move on to the preparation. Uh, this exam is conducted by Summerfield School Delhi and mainly the Delhi and NCR schools participate in this exam. Approximately 1000 to 1500 students participate per class. And uh, this exam is specifically for those students who are really interested in maths and they love to solve the tricky problems. This is mostly held towards the end of January or the first week of February. It is named after the great Indian mathematician Aryabhatta and as the name suggests it actually looks for brilliance in maths. So I would suggest that you should appear in the exam if you really love to take it, if you're really interested in maths and take it with full preparation and because you don't get the opportunity to write this exam every year. It happens in class 5th and then in class 8th and now it has started in class 11th also. So you don't get a chance to appear every year in for this kind of an exam. So let's first uh, let's now see where do we start and when do we start about uh, start with the preparation of this exam. It's good to start preparing for the exam from the beginning of the academic session in which you plan to take the exam because as we're saying that this is you know really looking for brilliance in maths it's it covers the concept clarity and a lot of other things that we will talk about as we move on in the session. So it's, it's good if you start preparing for it from the beginning of the academic session. Three to four months of focused preparation is what gives you an edge. And the key to the exam is concept clarity and usage of all the topics to be covered. So important thing here is that it's not just a theoretical exam. It's act, it actually looks for the application of all the concepts that you've learned in maths. So it's important that you get the concept clarity of all the topics that you're covering and then you should be able to apply it in the real scenarios. And of course, you know, sh you should co complete all the topics of class 5 first, but a significant part of Aryabhatta exam for class 5 is not covered in the CBSE class 5 syllabus. So you need to go beyond that. You need to cover a significant part as given by the syllabus of Aryabhatta you need to cover those topics from the higher class syllabus books which could be ma mainly 6th and 7th. So friends having done all the topics as per the syllabus a lot of practice needs to be done on each topic from multiple books and the important th thing here is that the choice of books should be a right mix of MCQ and non MCQ questions. So you should not be only focusing on one type of question. Then for the higher order application of all the concepts, the students need to do questions of higher complexity where the usage of the concepts may not be very direct. And other than, you know, the concepts usage being very indirect, there could be more than one concept which need to be applied in the same question. So that is something that we need, we'll be able to do with practice. So a lot of practice on a higher order complexity questions would be required. Have a look at the previous year papers after one to two months into preparation phase to get an idea of what level to expect and to also get a slight idea of where do you stand today and what changes do you need to make in your preparation. Another question that come to uh, mind is do we really need coaching for our better exam? Okay, my say would be that no coaching can replace the self practice. So my suggestion on that is focus on concept clarity and then do a lot of practice on all the topics of syllabus from different books with increasing level of complexity. But the important thing when I talk about focus on concept clarity, I definitely mean that you need to clarify your doubts. Whatever doubts that you have, you need to clarify those doubts so that you can actually get to know how to use those concepts uh, that you've learned. Now for that, your teachers, parents, 
different kind of video sessions and different books could help you with all these things but if you don't have the proper guidance then coaching may be required but again the important thing to understand here is that even if you're taking the coaching the focus needs to be on practice self practice is still the key and the different techniques that we'll need to uh, focus on is try and solve the questions mentally to do a lot of things mentally regularly practice some mental ability questions from some good math books and of course the speed is another important thing so we need to focus and we need to work on the speed enhancement techniques also now obviously speed being there and you know you being able to do a lot of things mentally the important thing comes to the point of accuracy so it is very very important that even if you're doing it faster you should not do it incorrect so the accuracy is the is very very important along with speed now since the exam is not fully mcq type you don't get the advantage of getting the final answer by ruling out options see when you have an mcq type of a of a uh, paper you get an additional advantage that you know you could clearly by doing some mental calculations you may be able to rule out two of the options clearly and then it gives you an idea and then you know it helps you uh, do things faster but here since aryabhatta's exam is not completely an mcq type of an exam you need to do a lot of practice on solving the questions fully and that's why we said in the previous uh, uh, earlier in the session that we should practice using a right mix of mcq and non mcq questions and another thing important which is very important for this exam is practice using the rough space very judiciously so as we come closer to the exam date we need to do a couple of things which we have not done till now which is like start solving the previous year papers around a month before the exam and of course it depends upon how many papers do you have now while doing the previous year, year papers you need to note down the gaps in your preparation supposing you find out that okay there are two topics which i am not very thorough with these two top the questions on these two topics i'm not able to solve properly or i get confused and then that's where you need to focus on so find out note down the gaps in your preparation and then work towards those keep one previous year paper to be done from scratch a day or two before the exam so that you get into the required momentum and another important thing to be taken care here here is do the last paper in examination style this will help you find out what could be done better when you're doing writing your exam so like read the instructions carefully you should use the rough space carefully no overwriting no cutting etc and all these things should be taken care of while doing your last paper and friends now in the next session we're going to take up some solved examples of the previous year aryabhatta papers and if you need to if you want to know some reference books or some other study material you could get in touch with us at our website or through facebook friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you